guys, welcome to Sippin' and Spilling. We are uh, going live here as I film this, like very shortly at 6 p.m. Uh, Central Time. And the day kind of got away from us. Mike and I kept trying to get out here to film a Sippin' and Spilling together. Did not happen, he got real busy at work. But I decided I better come out here and just get her done. Um, apparently we're fixing to have a big old storm tonight. Um, so I don't like a big thunderstorm, lots of wind and stuff. So we're, I'm kind of going around and fattening down the hatches. I was, I'm sure you can tell, I was painting, <laughs> um, and uh, working on a project most of today. But um, yeah, I wanted to tell you guys the sipping and spilling from yesterday, carrying on into that story about my special guest that is here with me in my lap. This little guy I got on Monday night. Um, he's currently living in a, uh, like a rabbit, two level rabbit hutch, basically like a catio uh, on the front porch right now because he's young. Um, but I mean, he's probably about three or four months or so. And he's gonna be an outdoor kitty, a porch kitty, essentially. Um, but I went, my girlfriend Beth dragged me out to go play Bunko. She was like, we need a substitute. Can you come play Bunko with me on Monday night? And I was like, I guess so. I've never played Bunko. I've no idea how to play it. Well, I now have some semblance of a concept of how to play it, but I am in no way good at it. Um, and in Bunko, they, or at least in their group, they do, um, different levels of prizes. So if you get the highest score in Bunko, you get like the big prize. And if you get the lowest score in Bunko, you get like a little, the littlest of the littles they call it. You get a little prize. So um, the losing prize in Bunko was a cat. And um, this gal had this cat that had kind of just moved in on her patio. She'd asked around her neighbors and stuff to see if it was theirs. And, you know, we live out in the country, so there's lots of times there's just you know, cats. <laughs> and um, I've seen some out here before. Um, so she was like, you know, the loser gets a cat. And I was like, I'm gonna lose. Like, I just knew I was gonna lose because I had no idea what I was doing. Um, I did get better as the night went on, but I still had the lowest score of the group and was also coincidentally the, all, the only one that was willing and excited about actually getting the cat as the prize. Um, because when we walked in and she announced that like the grand loser prize was going to be a cat, I was like, sign me up. I, and she was like, seriously? And I was like, yeah, I'll take a cat. Um, and he's absolutely the sweetest. So, of course, now normally I would give the, him like a, you know, a normal name, like a human name. Um, I don't usually, like I'm not one to like name a cat Fluffy. Um, it's just not my jam. Um... So I couldn't help myself though because I won him in a Bunko game. I call him Mr. Bunko. So which, you know, it seems to, to fit him. But he's super sweet, huh? Yeah. And I figured Mike couldn't get mad. You know, Mike always gets mad when I bring home a new animal. Pretty much guaranteed every time. But I circumnavigated that because uh, I said, number one, it's my birthday week. And number two, you broke a tractor, so he can't say no to a cat. So that's how I got Mr. Bunko um, over here. He wants to go running around on the patio. I usually let him walk around and stuff, but I'm trying to keep him situated here. But um, he's absolutely a love. I've already caught him, like, trying to, you know, catch butterflies and, you know, stalk around. He tried to catch a lizard earlier. Um, so I think he's going to be a good little mouser. Um, he's definitely been used to being outside. Um, he's not been an indoor cat. So he's, but he's just, I mean, look at that face, you guys. Look at that face. I mean, he's absolutely, he's really pretty eyes and he's just, he's super sweet. He doesn't stop purring. He's just a love. Um, he's a little squirmy at the moment, but he's, he's a good boy. So, hi. Yes. You want mama kisses? Hi, Mr. Bunko. Whoa, what? What? Mm -hmm. Anyway, he's he's super cute. So that's like the best thing that I won this week. 
like legitimately got a cat. So, and I, uh, I do have to run by the gal's house to drop off the carrier that she let me borrow to get him home in. Um, so I'm going to do that this evening. Uh, in between this and taking Frankie back to youth group and our live tonight. So I'm excited. It is my birthday today, you guys. So um, I honestly just kind of, there was my painting project and dealing with a, some stuff I had to deal with. So I didn't really like celebrate so much today, I guess, but that's kind of okay. It wasn't like a big birthday. I was, you know, last year we went to Vegas. It was my 40th. We went to Vegas for a week and we had a great time this year. I mean, we just moved and I got a cat. So I'm good with that. Um, and I'm still kind of figuring out, like I'm sort of trying to plan out because I do have to go make a trip back to California and back to help Will and Jen um, migrate out here. And I'm trying to get everything set up here so that I'll have my videos for when we post on Fridays and Sundays all set up for while I'm gone. Um, I, we haven't figured out what we're going to do about sipping and spilling while I'm gone. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. I might be doing those from the road and posting them from my phone and it would just be me or like maybe I might do one or two of those and maybe Mike will do one or two on his own. Um, and then I'm not sure maybe when we do, uh, maybe for that Wednesday's live, we might do like stream yard. So he and I will be like on a split screen um, and, and maybe go that route so we can both be there during the live. But, um, you know, I would just be kind of logging into it from my phone because I won't have my laptop with me. Um, so we'll have to see what we decide, but I'll, I'll we're going to hammer all that out this weekend, I think, and, and figure it out. So hopefully there will be no interruptions in video production. They've got some projects they're going to be able to work on while I'm gone without me. I'm going to try and get some of the things that I wanted to get done done before I leave. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, it is, it's going to be a little bit tricky, especially because it is going to be like a full week of me being gone. Um, it's going to be a little hard, but, and I'm a little worried about this storm tonight. Like I have to, I saw the alert, but I, and Frankie was talking about it when she walked in the door, but I don't know uh, any details yet. Like, is it just supposed to be thunder and wind or is it supposed to be like torrential rain? I don't know yet. So I have to go back and check that. Like it's been a little bit of a whirlwind. I know you want to go run around, but we're not going to go run around. I'm trying to right now when I let him out, when I'm out here, um, you know, I'm trying to teach him this is home base. So his little pen, that's where his food and his water is. And you know, they always say with cats, uh, you know, pen him up for, you know, six weeks or so. Um, so they know where home base is before you start letting them out as barn cats. So I think that's what I'm going to do. He's got his little deluxe condo over here. He's got his kitty box, his food, his water, his little blankie towel, all that stuff. Um, and he's all squared away. So, and anytime I come outside, I just come outside to take a break or whatever. I just let him walk around and he basically ends up sitting in my lap most of the time. But he does does go wander like right now he's settled in because he's realized I'm not going to let him run around right now so he's like fine I'll just lay here oh you're so cute yeah he's such a good boy so and he kind of comes when you call him and he follows you around and he's he's fun I think he's going to be a good little a good little barn kitty are you going to be a good barn kitty he's still purring as he's like trying to play and like you're so cute you say hi to all the people Best thing I ever won. I've never really won much, but this is pretty cool. You know, I want a cat. <laughs> a bunko. Who knew? It's totally a thing. So I am going to keep this uh, a little bit shorter, guys. Number one, because it's just me. Number two, because it's my birthday. Um, and number three, because I am fixing to have to, you know, get this posted and uh, run Frankie into town and get back here in time for Mike and I to do our live. So I am kind of, uh, you know, since I'm flying solo, this is definitely going to be a much shorter sipping and spilling. We have a lot of stuff that we're trying to kind of um, navigate right now in the next really week before I leave, I guess, week and a half before I leave. So it's definitely changing our timeline on a lot of things, <laughs> but, um, you know, we got to roll with it. Like 
it's it's a little bit stressful just because it's um it's just it's always stressful when it's like not a planned trip like i thought this was going to be a month from now that i was going to be helping them and it's kind of definitely the timelines moved up so i'm like oh, okay i need to get my stuff in gear which is fine it is what it is so um and they're really really good friends i love them to death and of course i'm going to do anything i can to help them and of course i will film um us going out there and uh loading in our trip back um and try to at least get a video out of that week while I'm traveling. Um, it's gonna be like deja vu of, you know, didn't I just move from California to Mississippi? Didn't I just do this? But, so that part's not super exciting and it's gonna be a quick turnaround. So it's not even gonna be like, oh, I have time to see friends or anything. It's just gonna be like, get there, sleep, help them pack anything that needs help packing with. I mean, I have no idea. And then hitting the road again. So, you know, a day or two there at the most, and then boom, leaving again. So, you know, it's going to be fine. Um, I, I know this. I'm already looking forward to the other side of it when we are here and landed and done. And I'm back at home because this is home now, you know, which I know I still and Mike gets on me because sometimes I'll say back home when I'm talking about California. Um, but this does this feels like home now you know it really does and um i'm excited that, you know the few little projects that i'm starting to as of today in the house um which i kind of wish i'd started a little bit sooner but mike wanted me to hold off a little bit and live here before i started painting or doing anything but yeah there's that wind coming in guys Woo! and it got a little humid not too bad but yeah that wind is that wind is coming so anyway thank you for joining me uh i hope you guys join us tonight on three mississippi at 6 p.m our new time slot on wednesday evenings at 6 p.m central uh for my birthday bash featuring mr bunko my favorite birthday gift prize whatever um yes i know you're mad he wants to run around i know anyway thank you guys for joining us here or me because it's just me and uh, I hope you guys stop by tonight and uh, show us show us some love in our new time slot. So thank you guys, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Mr. Bunko says bye too.